Good morning, everyone. Seamus McCauley, CEO of Bright Green here. And uh, a little late this week with uh, uh, the video. Uh, I had some health issues that I was taking care of, um, but delighted to, to be able to say that I'm back on the horse and uh, 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 we will get back on schedule as in from next week. So this week, uh, uh, as indicated, um, we wanted to little, think a little bit about revenue and, and begin to, to really outline some of the revenue streams that, that Bright Green will uh, be aiming to penetrate as we move forward and and really look at the the uh, the foundation of those revenues and uh, explore a little as to, to where they might come from and ultimately where they might take us to. Um, my intention is not to go through any of the detailed numbers today. I don't think this is the, the correct forum, but it's really just to give an overview of what it is that we're working towards and actually what some of that potential might look like in, in terms of those markets. So as you've seen in, in the previous videos, there are two really foundational pieces that will underpin uh, uh, the revenue streams that we aim uh, to generate moving forward. The first of those, of course, is the DEA uh, registration. And that registration allows us access to, uh, number one, the national uh, research and development cannabinoid uh, marketplace. But of course, given that we will also uh, have an export license, we will look towards the international market uh, for supply of those materials. Now, we will be able to tailor uh, for specific requests from, from individual organisations or individual facilities in terms of the type and the makeup and the ratios of the cannabinoids that they are particularly uh, researching. And uh, uh, of course, that gives us a, a very large platform combine that with the international research and development market, you can begin to see that actually a very big market begins to open up. Now, given that our facilities are being fitted out both to be compliant with the DEA requirements, but also are being fitted out to, to GMP and GACP uh, standards, that really means that we'll be able to deliver high quality, consistent material to those facilities or organizations uh, conducting research uh, into cannabinoids. And as we've seen recently, there has been a lot of political movement uh, 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 really addressing that research market. And uh, as we move forward, Bright Green certainly aims to become one of the premier providers of quality cannabinoid materials manufactured to GMP or GACP standards for both the national and the international markets. Second stream then, as outlined last week, would be uh, through the FDA pathways, which are really focused on us delivering and developing or specific medicines that are designed to treat specific conditions. The FDA have a very clear pathway uh, that, that medicines should follow, whether that's cannabinoids or, or whether it's penicillin, um, that, that, that actually the engagement with the FDA and the development of those specific pharmaceutical medications we can engage and develop and enhance those and each of those medicines will have its own market dynamics and its own uh, uh, sectoral specific uh, uh, revenue streams but also um, uh, dynamics within them as well. There are a number of, of programs within the FDA as well that uh, uh, will allow us to address certain exciting markets which again are are of course, uh, underpinned by, di by data and by science uh, and by the research themselves. But rather than being very specific medicines for specific conditions, they may have a more general application. Again, or the team that we are building within Bright Green, uh, we aim to be probably the, the, the most experienced research and development team uh, uh, in the world. And, uh, and therefore, we will apply the rigor of science to those compounds, to those applications that really gives us a broad base uh, 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 in terms of the market uh, to be able to address. And I think then uh, as we progress and as we as we look towards other revenue streams as we move forward, it really gives us a, a clear indication of, of what the potential in the market is. We've seen a lot of political movement recently there, President Biden uh, um, really expanding access to the research and development market for cannabis and marijuana and cannabinoid uh, um, applications. And, and that's certainly something that we aim to to uh, progress and indeed uh, access as we move forward. So in all, 
<clears throat> really the revenue picture for Bright Green with all of our uh, foundational pieces in place really becomes quite exciting. It becomes um, a, a real uh, uh, um, drive forward from a sectoral and a channel specific point of view. It gives us very clear targets. It gives us very clear revenue potential. And, and these are the factors that, that we will be uh, announcing as we move forward and updating both the markets and the shareholders to ensure that they have a clear understanding of what our uh, approach and what our, our potential revenues might look like. They look very healthy um, from a pro forma and a, and a forecasting point of view. But of course, then uh, the task ahead, which is really what we're working on right now, is to ensure that we're aligned to, uh, uh, to those markets to those uh, potentials and uh, ensuring that we meet them uh, uh, as we move forward. So um, a, a little bit of a shorter video this week and uh, as you can see, um, uh, really underpinned by our research or development uh, or science and or capability in terms of the team that actually when you look at the market opportunity that lies ahead for Bright Green, it's a very healthy and it's a very uh, exciting prospect that lies ahead. Um, there are a lot of people out there who, who perhaps don't understand what it is that Bright Green are, are aiming to do and therefore sometimes can speculate about uh, uh, what that might look like or what it means. And uh, 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 as I say, rather than going into the detail here, um, this is really designed to give um, you an overview of what that looks like. We're really excited about what lies ahead. And um, uh, whilst this is a shorter video this week, um, what I'd like to touch on next week then is our recent announcement on the EB5 um, program. Uh, that points the way towards the, the raising of the capital and the availability of the necessary capital in order to begin the process of, of addressing uh, these revenue opportunities that lie ahead. And uh, I will uh, get back on schedule as in from Monday and ensure that that, that video comes along. Um, just as a side note, I am working on getting some, some graphics and some pieces uh, available to accompany these videos just so that they can they, we, we can ensure that the message is conveyed um, fully. Um, but for now, I hope that uh, uh, that's been a useful insight into what we have ahead of us from a revenue perspective, um, which does paint the way towards a very healthy and a very um, uh, productive uh, process ahead for Bright Green. In the meantime, I hope you guys have a good uh, week and stay healthy, which is my new watchword moving forward. Um, very good to talk to you all and uh, look forward to the next video next week.